All right, I got the big man with me here. Boats are killing. We're gonna go for a little ride. Well, it's kind of late for him because I know he's been married for years and years and years. It's been a while, ain't it? Yeah. We're getting old, man. You know? You're older. Have you noticed all we're doing is interrupting pictures? Yeah, we'll be all right. As long as we don't get in their picture and break their camera. <laughs> Pictures of the old trail. Photo ball. <laughs> you used to be able to get in this train. I don't think you can anymore. Look at the camera. Hold on, stop. 1947 CMA. Retired in 1956. He's been here for a while, ain't yeah, it's so been here. here in 61. It's been here ever since I can remember. Like I said, it used to. Used to be. This bell was placed in the bell tower of the Logan County Courthouse in 1905. It was made by American Bell and Foundry Company of Northville, Michigan and weighs approximately 2,000 pounds. In 1912, the courthouse burned and this same bell was placed in a new courthouse bell tower that same year. There it remained to ring out the victories of World War I, World War II, and Korean War, West Virginia's centennial celebration in 1963. In 1963, the courthouse was in dire need of repair. It was torn down and replaced by modern building. The bell was saved by Sidney Farrell, and brought to the Chief Logan State Park. The bell is a Logan County landmark and dedicated to Sidney Farrell and the citizens of Logan County. It's a shame you go through here and don't even know what's here. I don't know if you can even see it. 